Hey, and welcome to Winning Conversations. We are so glad you are here today. We are excited to jump into our very first introductory episode of season two. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so I'm here with uh, the two, the three of us, the hosts of Winning Conversations, and that's Dan. Hello. Dan Jordan. Hi. Dan the man, and we have Andy. Hello. The woman. You guys the woman. Well? The woman. <laughs> very good. Very Doing excited. Well. So this is exciting. It is exciting. We're making a big step. We're jumping into season two. Yes. But the other thing we're doing, if you're listening to us, is we're moving to video. So we're sorry. <laughs> yeah. This is what we look yeah, like. Yeah, this <laughs> sorry to disappoint. <laughs> we're like, oh, this is what you look I like. I know. Oh, so much glass listening. is shattering right yes. now. Everybody is, so we've had a really great first season. I really am thankful for where we've come and what we've done. So just to recap, we've had fifty episodes. That's a full year. Insane. That's 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 a lot. Yeah, I don't feel like it's been that many. No, it's gone way faster than time flies when you're having. It doesn't seem like we've done fifty. Yeah, we've done fifty. Wow, fifty, and out of that fifty, we've had over thirty-one thousand plays. I know it's crazy. That's a lot. That doesn't seem real with our church size being at like as big as it is. You know, like I don't know why I'm saying it that way, but it. That's like a lot of listens. That's a lot of good stories yeah. too. Well, 50 really good Hearing ones. from people that I don't normally talk to <clears throat> also. Like mm-hmm. a lot of new people who maybe I've seen in church, but I haven't sat down and had like a real conversation with. So that's been cool. Yeah, it's been really cool. I think that's probably what I've loved most about it is hearing these stories that I didn't even know existed yeah. within our church body. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been the... Greatest blessing is finding out those like diamonds in the rough, not even in the rough, just diamonds you didn't know about that were in yeah. the seats sitting next to you. Like all oh, your story and testimony is amazing. Like there's so many of them. Well, also I'm not like the kind of person who's just going to go up to somebody. I'm not very like extroverted in that way. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like this podcast has kind of forced me to, I mean, talk to people <laughs> and it's been, that's a good <laughs> thing. I mean, that's a good thing because right. it's opened me up to, to be more like, open with people and communicate more with people and ask more questions because everybody has these insanely awesome stories that how are we going to know that unless we build right. community and talk to them? Mm-hmm. Right. So it's, it's been a learning thing too for me. I mean, for me, at least. yeah, for me too. I think uh, some of my favorite people are people that I didn't even know were in the body that now I have a yeah. relationship with because yeah. we've spent some time talking to them and learning their story. What have been Dan, what's been some of your most impactful moments? The first season. Oh, I think as a newcomer to this community, like that's why I said from the very beginning, like this whole, I, the whole idea of this was such an exciting opportunity just to meet people that I would never get to meet and learn about people that I never have a chance just because you just don't always get the opportunity. Um, and so <laughs> you said before, like so many of them are my favorites. Cause I feel like there was something awesome about each one, mm-hmm. but I go back to Danny Hill specifically. It's like first one of, one? our like, first our one, very first episode. cause it was chaos. But it was so <laughs> awesome. It was so awesome. And his story about having the dream and showing up, right. I think about that story all the time. Yeah. Like, right. I really think about it. Um, it's a nice little plug. Go back and yeah, listen yeah. to Danny Hill's episode first one. episode. Um, Natasha, when she said... Natasha Powell. Yeah, not yeah. Natasha Powell. When she says, we serve a God of miracles. When she got the... I remember uh, that I remember that chills. line yeah. vividly. Yeah. And I think about it all the time. Whenever there's a moment where like I have to pray for someone or something like that, I think about her saying, I serve a God of miracles. So that... Those kind of moments stick with me, have stuck with me and are still, I think they're amazing. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I remember season or this episode one um, from humble beginnings. Cause that is when we didn't have any recording equipment and we just <laughs> opened my laptop Look how far up we've come. and yeah. we're like, we're like, okay, there is a recording feature on the laptop. Yeah. Like we're going to go low budget mm-hmm. to start with. And it's cool to see where we're at now. So yeah. it's exciting. How about you? What were some of the most impactful? I think. I was thinking about it. I think Heather Johnson's is my favorite just Mm -hmm. because her story resonated so much with me because it's, I relate to it the most. And I was very quiet on that episode because I was just like soaking it all in. Like it was just so, it was intense, but also like I just connected with it so much when I didn't know any of that about her and I've known her for years and just hearing her is like, yeah, I just connected so much. That's to my that wife's one. favorite episode. Really? Is yes, it? Is her it's episode? A good one. Yeah, she, same things you're saying. She loved it. Yeah. She loved that episode. Yeah. That's awesome. The episodes that, um, those are some of the top 
watched episodes, top listen to are they episodes. Really? They are. <laughs> I mean, they're all great. Every you can yes. get some, somebody is going to get something out of every single one. So I don't want to say that that's like my favorite favorite because all of them have been great. But it's it is special when you hear one that connects with connects with yeah. you personally. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's good. That's the one you connect with. Yeah, that's great. I connected with a lot of them. Uh, Deborah's was really powerful for yeah. me too yeah. because her heart was just. Uh, like, I'm just going to live a life and let God use it. And I thought that was super powerful. Mm-hmm. Um, another one that I really loved recently was um, uh, John Trams, where he oh, talked about him and his son and the did. birth of, of Jaden and things like that. So that was that was powerful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That one still rocked me, the fact that it was like 10 or 11 minutes. Mm-hmm. His son. Um, I can't. Oh, we serve an awesome God. Uh, that's yeah, such a, so his crazy. story is so amazing it's it like is. unreal there have been so many i have so many favorites i love sitting down with the executive team and hearing their their mm-hmm. thoughts that's like the thurmans and pastor justin and that's where like, you like get the wisdom like you hear yeah. like really powerful wisdom coming from those episodes like right. phil thurman specifically i think of his that dude right. is awesome yeah he's like a sponge that's a man yeah. <laughs> he's got a story the two well and how often do you get that in a church where you get that one-on-one time with your leadership. Right. Yeah. Like that's like, again, like someone who's coming from out of state and everything else, you just don't get that quality time right. with the leadership of a church. And not because they don't want to, but because just right. functionally, it's just a hard thing to do. Yeah. And to have them come and sit down and take their time and kind of be in this intimate sessions mm-hmm. and you can hear their heart and hear what they do and why they do it. Right. I think it's amazing. What I love is hearing their stories on this level and then sitting and hearing them preach on a Sunday or Wednesday and recognizing that they're telling a piece of that story that they may not have, they might not have the time or the direction from the Lord to share the whole story out in a service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when they come and sit in here, you actually know, like some of the back, you're like, Oh, and then you can understand how real they're being, how authentic they're being with their faith and how God walked them through hard situations. Just like we have tough situations. Um, It was one of the reasons why this was such a powerful platform that I was excited to kind of get behind and run with is because we wanted to tell the leadership stories, which I think we've had a lot of fun doing. Yeah. I like the leadership or the executive team episodes because a lot of people only see them on the platform and it kind of like humanizes them a little bit. Like it makes Mm -hmm. them, right. It like not brings them to our level, but you know what I mean? That you only see, if you only see somebody on the platform, you think that their life is one way whenever in reality, like, they've gone through similar stuff that stuff that we have or oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like it just, well, it relates them to you us You assume more. they don't have any of the same flaws you're struggling with every day. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I didn't know right. your train wreck was as bad as my yeah, train wreck. Exactly. You, know, you just don't think about it because yeah. they're obviously in leadership and they're anointed and they're amazing, right. yes. but they still struggle. So yeah. it's, I hate to say it that way. Like, oh, I'm glad to hear you're struggling. It's not, <laughs> no. what, I'm it's not what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> not what I'm saying. I am saying is that when they have those moments of vulnerability, yeah, when they've had right. things to walk through, and right. this is how they've walked it through, right. it gives you a gives me personally a great role model of one of how to walk it out. Yeah, and then like, oh my gosh, that's you know you've been there. You have you can have empathy mm-hmm. and sympathy and really genuinely understand. Right, and that's such a great thing to know and believe for yourself too that you can. I mean, look what they, look what God did in them. Mm-hmm. You can do right. that in me too. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I love that. Well, the exciting thing is these stories are going to go a lot further, a lot faster as Mm -hmm. we go into season two, one, because the cameras, because we're going to video, (laughs) Um, but two, we've kind of branched out our reach. So we've taken winning conversations, put it on its own channel on the audio platform. So no matter where you're at, um, Apple listeners can listen on Apple podcasts. We've got Google play. We're on podcast addict and Deezer. What's the other one? Spotify. There's like 20. I put us on our iHeartRadio, so our show's out there, and Pandora. Um, and then, of course, on YouTube, which is where the video content is going to be, yes. which is going to rock. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get ready, YouTube. Yeah. Buckle up. Yeah. All I have to say is just bear with us as yes. we Thanks. figure this out. And um, we're going to walk through it with, with our audience, which is kind of fun. Yeah, it, it kind is of kind brings, of fun. kind of brings the audience to us in a way you that You will hasn't. see me growing. 
Yes. Yeah. Andy is with. She child. has an eating problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's, she's in prayer circles, but they are just not taking. I'm feeding a human in my body. Right? Yeah. You've got to want the fix. I can't want it for you. I know this hasn't been an experience for you, but she's feeding a human in I'm, her body, yes. not eating guys, a human. Guys, guys. <laughs> yeah. Potato, potato. What an interesting time to switch to video, for sure. Yeah. You're going to do a dramatic but weight loss in the great. too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Should have yeah. just not told anybody. Yeah. Fine. So well, it would be fun to walk through that end of that pregnancy with yeah. you and then... Meet Miss Lily. Yeah. Oh, we're excited. Name? Lily. Yay. Yep. Yeah, we announced that there on that podcast. Oh, hey. <laughs> Everyone should know. Yeah. But yeah. Lily. Lily. Welcome. Lily. Yep. So one of the first things we wanted to do with this episode is one of the constants in the first 50 episodes was one of us three and Miss Hannah too. Yeah. And so what we want to do is take the opportunity to um, turn the table, so to speak, and <sighs> give our listeners an opportunity to hear us and our personal stories. I don't know about you guys, but I've had people be like, I didn't know that about you. And it'll be like a, oh, a yeah. one pound comment that I made in an episode. Be like, oh, yeah. I, I didn't even think that people were listening to me. Like, yeah. I'm not, I was not the point. And I've had the same thing. People are, people will tell me, oh, I didn't know that. Or can you talk about that? I'm like, right. well, it's weird. I haven't had just any of wait. that. So oh. that sounds nice though. <laughs> Sorry. I bet you guys are invited. Well, I think you've probably been kind of quiet too. You've been so interested in the stories. I love that, the people that are on this show. Right. Um, and so I'm, I'm happy to keep talking to them. <laughs> yeah. But we want to hear turn, about you too. Be, we want to hear your it'll story be too. To the table. It will be interesting yeah. to yeah. sit so, in the hot seat for the first time. That's what makes me nervous. Yeah. That, sitting in the hot yeah, seat. Yeah. Well, to take some of the nerves off, we're going to let our spouses come and join us. And Which, we're going to do God, yeah. the yep. three of us also do Hannah and Terry. But also we have a huge production team. And so we're going to bring some of those guys on too. You're going to be able to hear the stories Thanks, Brad. of our- Thanks, Brad. Yeah. Shout out, Brad. Shout out, Brad. Shout out, Brad. <laughs> Making us look good. So uh, Brad and Marty have been big parts of our team all along. We have some other people that are joining the team, which are going to run some of our social media stuff. So shout out to Instagram. We now have an Instagram page for winning conversations. Are we still saying shout outs? Is that- So is that a thing? I don't know. I Again, don't know. This I did is why it. I'm not I, in charge of I mean, the social media I love platform. the 90s like everybody else did. Uh, <laughs> You know, I want to give a TRL <laughs> shout out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. We're not Dust that off old. some of those. You <laughs> We're know? not that old. We're elder <laughs> millennials, okay? You're right. We're in our prime. Yeah. Listen, I'm I'm almost 30, so I'm the what? youngest of y'all. You are oh, the youngest yeah. of us all. Moses. Yeah. All right. Well, I feel versed. So, <laughs> so I can shout out because I- You're allowed. That, I'll yeah, let it, I'll that let demographic it go. really right on the head. We're going to do it. So we have an Instagram page. We're going to be putting more out on YouTube, more out on social. Um, again, we want this to be a God's project. It's not ours. And we want to be able to first showcase so you guys get to know us a little bit more. But then we're really excited for our, our lineup of guests as we go into the new year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Are there any teaser guests that we can mention yet? Um, All right, we'll just keep it tight. I'm going to keep it tight. Let's us. get through, besides, let's get through any conversations. Uh, the Turn the Tables series, yeah, us. which is one of a uh, few series we've done. So it's been, it's been a good year, I think, overall. I think so too. Uh, it's been, it's actually been really amazing. I'll be the first, like in all sincerity, it's been such an awesome time to work with everyone and have these conversations and actually do this. From the moment that you talked about it as like a vision and everything else to see where it is now, it's just well, like listen, God's hand has been on this. It's been crazy. I got on this team to write questions. I was not even originally <laughs> supposed wrote, to be a host. I was yeah. writing questions for the host. Look at you now. Yeah. Way to pivot. Was, <laughs> thank you. It's been such a godsend. I I wanted to take a minute and just tell you both thank you for being part of the the first season, the inception of this dream that I had, this crazy wild dream. I thought, what would it be like if Heritage had a podcast? What would we put on there? And people love it. People love it. People look too. forward to it every week, which I think is amazing. And that just shows that this was something we were supposed to do. Yeah. I mean, I listen and I'm on it, which is, you know, I mean, it's weird. You listen to your own episodes. <laughs> Not every do time. I can't do it every time. I Sometimes like, I will. I like the show. So I always, I listen to podcasts. So we talked about this before. Right. Like I like podcasts. So I'll listen. And even when I'm on, I'm like, eee. you know. <laughs> if I listen to one that has, that I'm on, I'll just pretend that it's not me. Yeah. I'm like, that's not me. It's somebody else. And then I can get through the episode without really? like, cr like criticizing my voice and uh -huh. everything. But I, I listen to y'all's. See, I, I really enjoy the show. Like, I like yeah. the people that yeah. are talking. I like the stories. I really enjoy the show. Yeah. So it's yeah. a really easy thing to ask, which is why I'm like, 
sh- I'm shocked that people listen, but I'm not. <laughs> sure. You know, I'm like, I listen, so I don't know why I'm right. shocked. Yeah. I think our guests get a lot of good feedback too. So I often text them on Fridays after the episode comes live and they already have received like a dozen texts from people who have listened yeah. to it oh, that's so cool. and been like, they're like, oh yeah, that didn't, people didn't know that we had, you know, like uh, the Philip and Setia went live short mm-hmm. to the end of this last season. They're like, mm-hmm. people didn't know we were related to the youth pastors here. They had zero idea that that's we were so connected. Funny. That is and so, so funny. those are things that I take for granted Yeah, that I just know Yeah, that people are like, oh yeah. Because we right. know them. So it's like, a yeah, you just assume yeah. that everyone knows them yeah. as well sure. as you do. Sure. They're awesome, by the way. Yeah. So anyway, we're really excited about this next season. Yes. Another constant is we're going to keep our, our final question, our Making what? winners in life. And I've already started thinking of my response. Yeah. Oh, really? That's so yeah. Good yeah. You haven't thought about it? I, I think I didn't about want to it every week. Because then I'd, like, I'd stutter through it. If I had like a script in my head, I'd have to shoot from the cuff. Otherwise, it would sound so robotic. That's where I'm at. Every time we ask the question, I'm like, what would I say? And then I was thinking about it for our Turn the Table episode. But I was like, you know, I feel like it's it needs to be something that I just say in the moment as I'm yeah. feeling it because oh, yeah. I don't want to rehearse it in my head. It just to. needs to come from the heart. They and don't so, ever rehearse it. So we get, to, yeah. we get to jam it on them. I figure I did the same to myself. Do the same thing to yourself. Yes. Not overthink sure. it. I yeah. will, everyone has given so many different answers. And they've all been so good. Yeah, Amazing, great. right? And you're like, I didn't even think about it that exactly. way. I'm like, ah, oh, you're okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh my gosh. I'm glad I didn't answer this question because <laughs> that was way that better was than what I was going to say. Entirely deeper than I was yeah. thinking. Yes. Which is such a blessing that people are really taking that concept mm-hmm. and, the, and the the theme of the church in terms of making much right. of life and really owning it for themselves mm-hmm. it's amazing yeah it's the I culture mean, of this church it yeah. is and and it goes beyond just being plastered on the walls when you right. walk through the sanctuary and see it on the back <laughs> like that's just the start of it's what not just a here. quote or like a little slogan no, but not. that's the best thing that's not what happens when you walk into our church either so many people are like hey this feels like family this feels like home when oh all the time here. that's like the number one thing i hear is it feels like family right i mean that's why we stayed yeah. Like really? That one hundred percent. We can't. You had, we were you, shopping churches, and I hate to say that, but we moved. <laughs> so yeah. Like we were just out there, like no, that's you know, real. That's real. Like we we didn't know where what house we we're going to be in. Like we just knew we we need to find one. Yeah. And this is not anywhere near where we live. Right. So it's like, uh, it yeah. better be good. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And when we came to this house, like we, I loved it. My wife loved it. Like we're like, this is an amazing. Like it. There is a difference. There's a spirit here, and there's truly. Like this is a house that cares about yeah. the people that are here, and like that's why we we've loved it ever since. So I mean, it really is a true vibe. That- well, I can't wait to hear y'all's episode. I know <laughs> this is like a little teaser. Sure, I there can't it is. wait to get into that story some more. Yeah, can't wait to get into your story some more. The PK, the resident PK. Oh yeah, that's, oh, right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're and really then your story. <laughs> Right? Go to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're doing this too, right? Of course I am. Okay, yeah. good. Because you got a fun one. Yeah, it's going to be a fun story. Sweet. So um, I hope so. <laughs> I Gosh, love the little teasers. Me, like, <laughs> it makes me a little bit. Y'all are in for a treat. Yeah. Right? It's going to be a fun season. <laughs> Saddle up. Gonna yeah. We're going to do a couple more fun things. We're going to film uh, a live recording, not live streamed, but a live recording at our anniversary service. Yeah. So mm. after this episode drops, our listeners and watchers now We'll be able to connect with and be in our audience during the anniversary picnic. So, so have questions to ask us. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. we'll put up a box on Instagram. People will be able to ask some yeah. questions, get our hosts. I know our kids are like, like so ready for this because they want to be in the studio audience and they want to be called to the mic so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys doing like actually picking people the mic to ask live questions? I think so. Oh my gosh. I think it'll be kind of fun. fun. <laughs> it's going to be a celebration. So our church I kind of don't want my kid to ask a question. <laughs> I, was, I was saying, I'm like, oh, my kids are there. loaded. Yeah. At least my oldest. She wants to be on the podcast so bad, but I don't think I want a question okay, from so, her. <laughs> so I get to the pleasure of teaching the youth. And I've heard that from a lot of kids. Yeah. Like they want yeah, to be on the show. Isn't that awesome though? Isn't I mean, that crazy? Because I'm like, but they have good stories too. They have I mean, good stories too. I I thought it was very weird that there's so many young kids yeah, I agree. that were listening to it and then wanted to be on it. Addie will listen to it on her own. Really? Yeah. Golly. Yeah, my kids are a little bit of critic, especially my oldest. He's a bit of a critic because he hears them as I've edited <laughs> oh, no. and stuff. And so oh, it'll, we'll listen to it live and he'll be like, you didn't edit that out? And I'm like, oh my gosh. So you know what? We, got, we got some people with some opinions Golly. going Jeez. on in our household. Thank the Lord. I don't throw. have that in my house. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. But we're excited. It's going to be a really great season. Um, we want to shout out to our pastors and say thank you for um, facilitating this, giving us the, the 
freedom to run with this vision yeah. and make it something super cool for the kingdom of God. So we're excited about that. We're excited about where we're going um, for season two. And we're really glad that you guys are still along for the, the ride. So. Stay. Stay so and enjoy. Find us on social media. Find <laughs> us on YouTube and Instagram. Um, we're still going to be on the a lot of the church stuff. So if you're following yeah. Heritage of Faith, you're going to find us pretty easily. But take the opportunity to share it with somebody as we get into find some of your old episodes and share them. And so, so are you guys excited for this next season? I'm actually really excited. I, I, are that, you really excited? I, actually, I mean, <laughs> this part is going to be a little bit, you know what I mean? A learning curve, some yes, would say. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's going to be a little more raw. It's going to be a little more organic yeah. and focused, which yeah. I really enjoy. But I'm really excited because of the new conversations. Like for the right. same reason I wanted the first right. season, yeah. I'm super excited for the second season. Yeah. Because yeah. there's so many people I haven't spoken to. <laughs> like, yeah. I, yeah, I just want to know their story. There's, there's a pretty good. I, there were a couple holdouts that I waited until I knew we were going to video that I wanted to capture on video. Ooh, I want to capture oh their stories, okay. tell their stories. We were sitting in front of cameras, <laughs> and maybe some that we'll bring back that we had that were incredible. Yeah, incredible communicators oh. and telling their stories. Oh so. yeah, there are some stories that I would love to expound. Like I you know, know. What I, mean? I was like, oh, could we? That you know, I was listening to the episodes that kind of ended right. too quick, in my opinion. Yeah, right. my own critic of like, oh my gosh, yeah, that was. Right. What was that about? Right. Like, can we just dive into that nugget? We just dropped a nugget and then be like, okay, thanks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So mm. anyway, we are really thankful for y'all. We're thankful for our pastors. Um, share this episode. We'll do the whole uh, influencer thing. Like, subscribe, follow. No, actually, seriously do yeah. that. Yeah. Like, you'd be surprised. That helps. <laughs> that really does help. And yeah. this is a message that we would love to get to the people that sure. really want to get to it. Yeah. Right. So yeah, like, subscribe, share, post, comment. All those analytics things. are great. Yeah, we'd love it. Because yeah. I would love feedback. Because I I, sure. I check this stuff out. So I would love that feedback. Yeah. I would love to say I love feedback. <laughs> Positive feedback. Yeah. We'd love to hear Keep you that talk negative about stuff that. out, right? Positive <laughs> feedback. All I want five star ratings. We'll, we'll take all the feedback. We and will. We'll yeah. only listen to the good stuff. No, it's kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but um, tune in next week. We'll have another. Actually, next week is going to be the anniversary recording. So next week will be Leave your questions or have questions ready. Yeah. Have questions ready. Us. We'll have a fun time next week as we celebrate 23 years as a church, one year anniversary for the podcast, <laughs> and it'll be a fun episode. And then we'll jump in to turn the tables. So we'll see you uh, next time on Winning Conversations.